from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. All American News brings you our people's contribution to America and freedom. The 35th Division Spearhead Tank Battalion pauses at several in Germany bound for the Rhine. As United States Signal Corps cameramen catch the scene, supplies are being loaded. This crack battalion is made up of Negro enlisted men. Machine gun bullets are handy for use on Nazis. Instructions are received by radio, each tank having full wireless equipment. These tankers were out in front four days on the 9th United States Army's push to the Rhine. A Negro medic checks the casualties. With rations and ammunition loaded, the tanks are ready to move onward to Hortzkin, Germany. Mr. Benjamin Wiggins, I understand on the 18th of April you'll be 102 years of age. Do you recall the first president you voted for and where? General Grant was the first president that I voted for in Plainsboro, Middlesex County, New, Jer uh, New Jersey. Mr. Wiggins, do you recall what you were doing on the day that you voted for President Grant? I was working on the farm, tucking corn. This is the most vital home front group of workers in America. OPA volunteers fighting inflation. At this regional meeting in Chicago, they will carry the messages heard to their own districts. Bryant A. Hammond, public relations executive of the regional group, gives an important lesson on the perils of inflation. They learn that in World War I, inflation was experienced. For instance, eggs rose from 30 to 94 cents a dozen. Wages were slashed, farmers lost their land, people were homeless, all due to inflation. But this can be prevented. OPA workers must see that rent ceilings are maintained in their communities. They must fight black markets, always pay ration points, these workers will form anti-inflation committees. This will avert a national panic. Easter this year brought throngs to churches of all denominations throughout the land. This scene in the Pilgrim Baptist Church, Chicago, is typical. The choir sings joyously of the resurrection of Christ. Christians raise their voices in prayer, glorifying their God and asking for victory and peace. Ministers called upon divine providence to lead the world from the paths of bloodshed into the light of goodwill, and congregations devotedly listened and prayed. Not all the money churchgoers had went into Easter finery. They gave their tithes. Clear skies and bright sunshine, even though the wind was a bit high, gave Chicago's Easter crowds a chance to parade their new talk. Even little talks were in the finery for this spiritual event.
At Freeman Airfield in Indiana, typical training takes place, which has been duplicated in many other centers throughout the country. These boys will fly bombers, the B-25 type. Briefing is important. It pays to know what it's all about before hitting the sky trails with those dynamite eggs. Their mission fully understood, the trainees don parachutes and get ready for flight. Now they're going to have the chance of putting their classroom studies into practical use. For this is just what they'll have to do when overseas. Nice eggs to lay on the Nazis and the Japs. And you can well understand how eager these boys are to get training over with and see some real action. They're off. The bombs will be dropped on prepared targets. Very soon, they'll be doing this over enemy strongholds. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.